will now go to the random variables and its probability distribution. But before we try to understand what is the probability distribution of a random variable, let us first of all define what a random variable is. Okay. Now let us say, <coughs> let us say you have three coins. Okay. Let there be three coins which are tossed, which are tossed one after another. Okay, so the sample space will be what? What will be the sample space? Obviously, H, 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 T, H, T, H, T, H, H, T, T, H, T, H, T, H, T, T and T, T, T. Okay. Now let us say <coughs> I define something. I say I am interested in finding out the number of heads. Okay. So I say X is number of, of heads. Okay. Fine. So when x operates on this, what will be the value? 3. x h h t will be? x h t h will be? x t h h will be? x t t h will be? x <coughs> T H T will be X H T T will be <coughs> Let me write like that H H T X H T H X T H H they will be all two okay X TTH X THT X HTT X TTT zero. <coughs> Both the cases it will be the same. Both the cases it will be the same. Whether you <coughs> throw it simultaneously or one after another, this is what you will get, right. Hmm? Hmm? Now, I, if, if I say y or, or say x1 is another thing that, that, that tells me number of heads minus number of tails okay so so for for this it will be x1 h h h will be 3 x1 h h t will be 1 hmm? x1 h t h will be 1 x1 t h h will be 1 x1 t t h will be minus 1 x1 t h t will be minus 1 x1 h t t will be minus 1 this is not and x1 t t t will be minus 3 you see Now you can define it in so many ways. No, I can say number of tails minus number of heads, square of the number of heads minus tails, or square of the number of heads, or or there are so many ways in which, in which I, I can define this. So, what do I see? 
this acts as a function the random variable is a function which operates on the elements of the sample space okay and gives you a real number as its result okay it operates on the elements or points of the sample space okay and what happens it according to some rule it gives you a real number as its output real number as its output okay such a function which has a real number as its output is called real valued function okay we have studied function you remember what a function is so random variable is nothing but a function which operates on that means whose domain is the sample space so it operates on all the elements of the sample space and gives you a real value as its image okay its image is a real number and we had seen any function that has got real number as its image is called real valued function okay so that becomes the definition of random variable <coughs> so we say that the random variable random variable a uh, random variable is a real valued function which acts on the elements of the sample space elements of the sample space and whose images a subset of the real numbers so it can be anything but it has to be a function in the sense that it cannot be an ambiguous thing you cannot say that x h h h will be 3 also and it might be say <coughs> 1 also <coughs> that is not possible okay many to one is possible hmm? in function many to one is possible but one to many is not possible that is not a function right now we come to an example there's a game of coins right there's a game in which for each head you are given rupees 2 one has to toss three coins three coins he gets rupees 2 for every every head and has to give to the organizer rupees 1.5 for every tail huh but maybe not in this mode this will be in some other mode okay okay now let x denote the amount gained or lost by the person show that it is a random variable 
and exhibit it as a function of the sample space of the experiment. If x is the amount gained, show that x is a random variable, x is a random variable and and show that x is a random variable and what does the question say? And exhibit it as a function on the sample space of the experiment and exhibit it and exhibit it as a function on the sample space of the experiment. Okay.